Greetings from CI Live in Denver, Colorado. I'm Justin Wilson. In today's segment, I want to talk a little bit about foundation moisture control. And really one of those things that's happened um, as long as I've been in the building industry is once we start to see a water issue with a foundation, it's going to be a real big problem. That's usually what we see. I want to frame this discussion again that we've changed the way that we're using a basement in typical construction these days. It's actually bonus space to a house. Whereas in the old days, it was a place to store potatoes. And today it's a whole different thing. We're putting theater rooms, bedrooms, guest rooms, bathrooms, home offices, workout rooms in these, in these basements. They've also gotten deeper into the ground. And so we start to see issues with water management. Now in a past segment, we talked about having a, a damp proof or waterproof coating such as Delta MS on the outside of the wall. And what, a, what a good idea that would be for a long-term water management strategy. And today I want to just bring up a little different physics side of things in, in a, a product that might be used, either it could be used in new construction or it could also be used in a retrofit capacity. Um, let's say we built a house and we're worried about the floor coverings um, becoming moldy or musty, et cetera, et cetera. Because what we know is we put, and this is our simulated slab at CI Live, we've put a basement slab on a sand layer or a dirt layer, and there's not much we can do to fix that. And so we've got to really think about if we're going to put carpet or we're going to put uh, engineered wood flooring or even tile down in that basement, we could have a moisture problem. Um, one is this surface is cold because it's in contact with the earth. The earth underneath it is most likely wet. And so you see at the surface of these slabs, you're going to see that you've got a higher uh, condensing surface uh, issue going on right here, meaning it can get wet. And so that is the main concern. So when we start to look at what we could do with a, a coating, maybe it was an epoxy or anything else, we start to look at there's a physics thing. And these dimpled mats really come in quite useful in this, in this fashion as well. So here I've got a, a product that this could be used at new construction or also retro fit. It's a similar dimpled membrane and you can see how I, I lay this together uh, and they, the, the dimples actually lock right together on it. And what the intent to this particular product would be from the, the retrofit side is I lock these two together. I can seal this with a caulking or tape and this would actually be overlain to the slab and basically pinned down in, in major areas like corners, et cetera, of the basement. You don't need a lot of pins. And from here, you can construct your, your flooring right on top of it. For example, you could put an OSB or subfloor uh, with a tongue and groove, lock it on top of here. You could put carpet, you could put hardwood, et cetera, right on top of it. Um, that's the issue is when we start to measure, and what I've done here is we've put a sensor in this particular slab to look at what would the relative humidity, or in this case, the, the dew point temperature be on the surface or condition of this slab. And if we know it's high, we know we've got a problem. It's going to be really hard to, to retrofit that house in any other way. This is just a very clever solution. And really what's going on, if I come over and just kind of doodle it on a, on a board, here I have in the, the red, here is this um, fairly straightforward, the Delta FL product. And you can see it's, it's basically a 10 millimeter leg that we see here, which creates essentially a, a, about a 10 millimeter, about 3 eighths of an inch airspace. So this would be an airspace right here. And really what we're trying to do is say that this area down here has got a, available water. And you can't really control that. There's some ways we could discuss in other segments, but understanding that this slab is going to continue to be wet. And as we know from building science, you're going to say things go from wet to dry if we're trying to maintain a dry environment up here in the house. And so really what happens is this becomes saturated. And as I go right here into this airspace, and this has an impermeable product, this Delta FL is it's high, density, high density polyethylene, it's laminated together, it's impermeable. And this airspace actually creates a whole bunch of vapor pressure it builds up in this cavity. The water comes here and it wants to push the water, that available water, back into the slab and keep this area up here. The point of this whole thing is dry. So that's really the, the physics of that. It's impermeable and it creates basically a, a pressure sink that's going to try and force that water back down to that area. So what a, what a pretty clever solution if before you're going to finish a basement, even if you're not sure, but you're going to put sensitive flooring materials, carpet, carpet pad, engineered flooring materials, etc. This is a really fast way to just put it on the floor and move on with your life and not have to have 
to take things back apart again. There's never any worse time than when we've done quality work in a building and we've got to undo it or redo it. Um, that's just not, not a, a cost-effective way of doing anything. Callbacks are always problematic. So I'd say give this Delta FL product a, a try. The physics support it, and again, it's, it's very easy to install and makes a whole lot of sense. Thanks for joining us on this uh, short segment today, and um, look for more segments from CI Live in Denver, Colorado. Thanks.